I was in Tokyo recently and bought all these. Let's unpack them together. We'll begin with an otter from the crazy popular Shakurel Planet series. Shakurel comes from Shakurel, meaning having an underbite, and this little guy is well endowed. Shovel Chin here is from series 4. Yes, there are at least three other series, not forgetting spin offs like Kirby and Shadako. Number 2 comes from Kitan Club. Ha! <laughs> Fuchiko! And a beautiful piece too. The toy pieces are always separately packaged, so they don't scratch up against each other when they bump around the machine. Thoughtful! Fuchiko pieces have a lot of attention to detail, and this one is no exception. Some bits are hand-painted, and the accompanying piece has a water-like quality to it. It's a lovely pastel palette they've chosen here. There's a strong traditional theme, with the rising sun over Mount Fuji on the front, and pagodas and torii gates on the inside. But with cup toys, it's not just how good they look, but how well they sit. Well, this figure is called Fuchiko of the Rising Sun and is part of the Japan Pastel Collection. It is ridiculously beautiful, and I shall be getting more. I picked this one up at the Pokemon Center at the Tokyo Station. Ah, <laughs> the Kyobashi bin. Fantastic. Pikachu and Diglett hanging at the Kyobashi Bridge. Or what's left of it, which is basically a couple of pillars. This pin is part of the Pikachu Walking Map Pins collection. They are all very cute, but the Tsukiji pin is clearly the best. Clearly. I love capsules like these. The capsule is part of the toy, so you end up with a figure much bigger than usual and much more environmentally friendly. There's something very satisfying about putting something well designed together, even if it's something a toddler could do. Well. The cats in the collection are lucky charms for different things, in addition to the usual appeal for prosperity. He's holding a gold token with Sen Manryo. A modest amount. This particular figure has some interesting details. The front features cranes, while the back features a turtle, bringing to mind the saying Tsuruwa Senen Kame wa Manen, which roughly translates to Cranes a Millennium, Turtles an Eternity. I hope they're wishing me a long life to spend all my ryo in. This kitty is part of the Capsule Japan Manekineko collection. I think there's a second series actually. I got this during a trip to Nikko. They've got little souvenir machines at popular tourist spots, so I picked up a couple of pins. This one features the Sanzaru, the three wise monkeys. They hang over the Toshigu shrine in Nikko and basically everywhere else. Pouches, snacks, keychain amulets, postcards, even beer. And when Starbucks promoted its regional collection, you could bet your last banana the monkeys were on board. This pin is from the Nikko Pin Souvenir Collection, available at uh, wherever tourists are. Here's a figure from the Pokemon Nuku Nuku Collection. Nuku Nuku meaning warm or snuggly. And we've got Eevee with his little yellow pokey arm.
The paint's laid on thick here, but it's still nicely done, especially the mouth detail. The angled ears give it a lot of character too. The Nuka Nuka Time Collection is very cute. I think I bought more of these. This capsule is from the Tokyo Skytree Solamachi Mall, and comes in Kayodo's distinctive super round capsule. Here we have the Sensoji Kaminari Monkey. The capsule paper is specific to whatever you've gotten and has a brief summary of the landmark. For something that cost a few hundred yen, this is a decent reproduction. Kaminarimon, at the front of the gate, is neatly printed here, and the back, Huraijinmon, is perfectly straight as well. The gods on either side weren't reproduced though, which would have been nice. The base that comes with it fits on snugly. I quite like this piece, Kayoda does some really good work. What's this one? Huh, a mochi bucket. Spirits that inhabit traditional Japanese desserts. This one's a kagami mochi, which usually gets eaten around New Year. <laughs> it's even got the cracks! Each one comes with a little backstory. This one describes them as brothers who are inseparable. They don't mind if they're a little cracked. Every year, they face even the sad fate of the Kagami Biraki with unshakable stout-heartedness. For some reason, the Mikan on top always faces backwards. Kagami is from the first Mochibake collection. Due to their understandable popularity, there are more. The Disney Sea capsules are usually event exclusive. I got this one during their Easter event. This is. Daisy! You can wind her up when she goes round and round and when it's no longer a novelty, you can hang her off your back. Daisy's other egg friends include Disney's Easter chick Usapio, Mickey and Minnie. The choice to exclude Donald hardly feels appropriate. Here's another Fuchiko figure. This one's very cool. It has her soaked to the skin as though she's just emerged from a cup. A greyish white was used on her sleeves to mimic translucence, and they've also covered her hair with a glossy finish instead of leaving it matte. She sits perfectly. I love this model. This piece is called Fuchiko Fell In Once from Collection 5. I have a couple of favourites from this particular collection. Another mochibake. This time they're the shiratama that come with anmitsu. The bowl is a little crooked, makes it look whimsical. They've got a backstory too. On the anmitsu sit the shiratama brothers who love cute things. They exchange information about the latest sweets, and their hobby is Instagram because their skin is glossy and bouncy even without beauty filters. They dream of someday becoming a cake. There are so many textures here. The red bean is bumpy, and the ice cream has a glossy finish. The Shiratama pair is from Mochibake Series 3 and remain as lovable as ever. Our final piece for this video is another pin from Nico. This one is of the Kegon Falls, which I visited in April. It was breathtaking. This pin's got the name of the attraction on the back, in case you can't remember what you're looking at. I got the one I wanted, so I am pretty happy with this. This pin is part of the Kegon no Taki collection, which includes the falls during each season, spring, summer, autumn, and winter. That's it for this video. I hope you'll join me for the next one.